Good evening, my name is Taylor Murphy and I am here to give a presentation on time series analysis and specifically how it can help benefit a business or in this case a sporting goods business. The data used in the time series analysis was retrieved from census.gov. The historical data set contains the total sales of all domestic sporting goods stores. The data collected is shown in millions and begins in January of 2013 and then continues to March of 2015. This shows the results of the time series analysis is historically accurate as well as up to date. Using this data, we hope to predict the future total sales of the sporting goods industry. We hope that in achieving this prediction, we will be able to predict a possible increase or decrease in sales and will then be able to adjust our business accordingly. Accurately predicting future sales will give us the ability to accurately meet the demand faced by our business. We will be able to purchase and produce the correct amount of inventory and not lose possible revenue because of a lack of inventory. Using this time series analysis, we will hopefully be able to ultimately answer the question, what will our next month's sales be? and then use the answer to that to purchase the correct amount of inventory for the upcoming month. During the analysis stage, we used multiple methods in order to determine a forecast method that predicts the future sales most accurately, or in other terms, the smallest average error. The first two methods we used were the regression forecast method, in which we ran regression on the data and used the period and intercept coefficients to predict our sales, and the seasonal forecast method, which called for calculated seasonal factors, which were then multiplied by our regression forecasts. These two methods have the ability to predict values as far into the future as we desire. As you can see on the chart here, the actual sales is shown by the blue line, the regression forecasts are shown by the orange line, and the seasonally adjusted regression forecasts are shown by the gray line. The gray line here is nearly a perfect match for actual sales. From here we move to the six month moving average forecast method, which simply averages the previous six months and uses that average as the predicted value. The last method uses the exponential smoothing forecast method. This is calculated by taking the difference of the previous month's actual sales and the previous month's exponential smoothing forecasted sale and multiplying that difference by a chosen smoothing factor. The resulting product is then added to the previous month's exponential smoothing forecasted sales value. This method is used specifically for data that has no pattern or seasonal trend. In the case of the sporting goods sales, there is an obvious seasonal trend, so we can guess that the exponential smoothing method will not be our best method of predicting the next month's sales. These methods only allow for the prediction of the next month because actual sales data is required to make the prediction. As you can see here, the six month moving average is represented by the yellow line, and the exponential smoothing lines are represented by the dark blue, green, even darker blue, and brown lines, each time with an increasing exponential smoothing factor. And as you can see, as we increase our exponential smoothing factor, the line does get closer to our actual sales, but is also delayed by about a month, so pay close attention to that. In order to determine the best method, we use the mean absolute deviation error for our four different forecast methods. This is simply calculated by taking the sum of our absolute error and dividing it by the corresponding period. The method with the lowest average error represents our best method. As you can see here, the six month moving average method, the regression method, and the exponential smoothing methods all have very high average errors as well as average percentages and therefore fail as possible methods. The method with the lowest mean absolute deviation here is the seasonal forecast method and therefore our most accurate and best method for predicting the future sales of sporting goods stores. Because the seasonal forecast method has the lowest average mean absolute deviation, then this is the method we are going to use to hopefully accurately predict our future sales in our sporting goods business. The seasonally adjusted regression method forecasts sales by taking seasonal factors and multiplying them by the regression forecasted sales numbers for each month. Looking at this chart, we can see the forecasted seasonal sales lines up almost perfectly with our actual sales line. Even without the error calculations, we can see the seasonal forecast is most likely our best predictor simply by looking at the graph. One thing to note is that our tracking signal error measurement does fall above or below 4 and negative 4 once, so we do have to take a little caution when using this forecast method. Using the seasonal forecast method, we are now able to very closely predict the future retail sales of the sporting goods industry. For the next month, we can estimate that sporting goods stores will do $3,271 million in sales. This means our business will most likely have a decrease in sales from this month, and we can now order less inventory for the next month than ordered from the previous month. We can also predict during the month of December, sporting goods stores will do a total of $5,408 million in sales, and we as a store must purchase an abundance of inventory in order to meet this massive increase in sales. With this seasonally adjusted forecast model, we can now accurately predict any change in sales and it can adjust our inventory purchase and production in order to maximize profits each month. In the end, our goal here is to maximize profits by using this time series analysis, and if we're able to accurately predict our sales, then we'll be able to accurately predict the amount of inventory we need to have, therefore maximizing profits. So thank you for taking the time to be here today to better understand how time series analysis can benefit you.